Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is from all Earth signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Tower, clarified by Death. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. And we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Um, you'll be dealing with somebody from the past and uh, this person is up to no good. They could have cheated on you in the past, they could have run away from you, right? And uh, this is the type of person coming back and they have not changed. Um, six of, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past and uh, the Tower clarified by death. Trust me, it is not a good combo, right? The Tower is something coming down to the ground, being destroyed and death is also a card of an ending. Death is the personal Scorpio card, by the way, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But together with the Tower, and Death is all about something that <clears throat> came to an end at some point in the past. Um, the Eight of Cups in the middle, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past in this particular spread. And the last card I came out is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception. This is a card of somebody who sneaks around and uh, they're definitely up to no good. So like I said, whatever their zodiac sign is, if somebody comes back from the past, this person is definitely up to no good and you need to stay away from them. They may tell you all these stories, how they've changed, that it's going to be different, they made a mistake. Nope, they have not changed. The Seven of Swords, the last card that came out, came out last for a reason. So. They screwed you over in the past, they will definitely do it again, so be careful, all right? Cool. Taurus, we have the Two of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Swords. We have Judgment, we have the Hierophant, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with another Taurus, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. I'm getting a some mixed feelings to be honest with you. This feels old but at the same time it feels new. Judgment right there in the middle, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past, right? But at the same time it feels fresh, it feels new, it feels really exciting. So this person was not necessarily in a relationship with you in the past, they could have been, but uh, perhaps um, if you were in a relationship with this person, the two of you had to go your separate ways because it was some because it was circumstantial, right? Perhaps they had to move away with their family, or perhaps this person was your high school sweetheart, and then you went to one college, they went to another college, and it could be like ten or twenty years since the two of you uh, went in your separate directions, right? And now you're getting back together. Right? For some of you, it could be somebody you were in a long term relationship with, right? Not necessarily a high school sweetheart, but the two of you will be really, really excited, really, really happy to get back together, right? For others of you, uh, this person could have been somebody who you were friends with, somebody you went to school with, and, uh, but you never got to get into a relationship, but this time you will. This is a really happy reconciliation, that's what I'm trying to say, right? No matter what actually happened between the two of you in the past, no matter the nature of your relationship that the two of you had in the past, this is a very happy reconciliation, right? So like I said, judgment in the middle is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Two of Cups, the first card I came out is clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or this is somebody rushing in or rushing back in, right? Um, the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights, so this person will show up uh, almost unexpectedly. If you hear back from this person, say on uh, Thursday, they'll show up on Friday, something like that, <laughs> right? Um, the Two of Cups, the first card that came out, the very first card that came out is the Two of Cups. And it is a soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of uh, two people being on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual. So th there's definitely mutual, definitely mutual feelings here. 
right? We also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of somebody manifesting you into their life or you back into their life. The Magician is not only all about manifestation, it's all about action. The Magician is someone who takes action because they know they've got all the tools they need at their disposal, right? And they're taking action, right? Uh, we have the Hierophant, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The, the Hierophant, that is your personal card. Taurus, right? It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. But besides that, the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. The Hierophant is clarified by the um, Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, or the Ace of Pentacles is a very serious card. This person rushing back in into your life, they've got a serious offer for you with that Ace of Pentacles. Right? Uh, it always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to start a family. And uh, the four of wands, I find the Ace of Pentacles with the Hierophant, this is one of the commitment or marriage cards. Right? To me personally, the four of wands always reminds me of the actual wedding. Because <laughs> in some cultures, when people get married, they do it under a structure with the leaves and branches. And uh, the structure pictured in the four of wands always reminds me of that. But ultimately, it is a commitment or marriage card. So, like I said, whatever the nature of your relationship was in the past. Uh, this time around, it is a reconciliation, and this time around, this will it will definitely lead to a commitment, a very happy commitment. All right, cool. Virgo, we have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Tower, we have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Here. But this spread is about some sort of a sudden breakthrough or an unexpected new beginning or an unexpected victory, right? The hangman on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a situation that is stuck, that is not moving anywhere. This is a card of stagnation. And then this weekend, it's all about moving forward very, very quickly and feeling victorious, feeling great, feeling recognized, feeling admired. Right, the tower in the middle, it threw me off a little bit, <laughs> and I, I'm glad I clarified um, the other two cards. So the tower in this case, this is something that happens unexpectedly. So there's going to be an unexpected breakthrough in that situation that I was just talking about with the hangman. Um, or um, unexpectedly, you will find yourself on top of the world. <laughs> right, the six of ones, the first card that came out, this is a card of victory, this is a card of recognition. Um, this is a card of um, perhaps, perhaps you're winning at something, you're being awarded, or the situation that was not moving anywhere. It could be a lawsuit, by the way, for some of you. You will f unexpectedly find yourself as uh, the winner, so it's going to go in your favor. It could be work-related as well. Perhaps they will promote you, perhaps they will give you an extra bonus, right? And uh, the Six of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication. This is a also a card of travel. Right? So you could be traveling or you could be... Or this victory could be communicated to you. Right? And uh, we also have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands. So two Aces, one clarifying the other. So there's definitely either a breakthrough or you're feeling victorious with the um, Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords could be the word yes, so you could be being approved or you're going to be the one promoted. Um, and it's all about you feeling great about it. So now that you have won, now that you got promoted, now that you got this recognition, uh, this kind of elevates your status among your co-workers, among your friends, in your community, online, what have you. And that pretty much will start a new uh, cycle of your life with the Ace of Swords on this elevated status. Now that you've achieved something, now that you have won something, now that you have accomplished something, be, now that you've been recognized, it is a new beginning of your life where everybody will have a lot of respect for you, recognition, and uh, they will be looking up to you. That's the way it feels, right? Great spread, Virgo. Congratulations. Capricorn. We have Judgment. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by Temperance and the Three of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands, and we also have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius. So, yeah, there is a very strong Fire Sign indicator here. And this is somebody I already know. They're coming back from the past. It could be your ex 
or it could be somebody you used to friends with, you went to school with, um, you were in business together with this person, right? And uh, I do see you not really welcoming this person back into your life. At least your initial response is going to be, um, I'm not so sure I want to reconnect with you. I want to get back together with you. Because of, and I would just have to assume this person did something bad to you in the past, right? Uh, if this is your ex, they um, dropped you, they left you. Uh, this person could have been, could be a player, right? Because the Knight of Wands sometimes comes through as a card of a player, somebody who's hot and cold, somebody who is in another real life. Or this person could have cheated you out of your money. If this was your business partner, perhaps they wanted to do something business related and it fell through. Something, something among those lines. Basically, you're not really looking forward to getting back together with this person or reconnecting with this person. Nevertheless, here they come, <laughs> right? Judgment, the first card that came out, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Like I said, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it could be them coming back. Um, uh, and they're going to be very fiery, very passionate. Or the Knight of Wands, like I said, it could be somebody who is a player, somebody who is uh, in and out of your life. And uh, the person you're actually dealing with is the Queen of Wands, the second card from the left. Could be a fire sign, Aries, they are Sagittarius, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Uh, the Queen of Wands is clarified by Temperance and the Three of Cups. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card, by the way. Or, if we want to stay general, then Temperance is all about healing, bearing the hatchet, getting back together, reconnecting. And uh, the Three of Cups, clarifying Temperance with the Queen of Wands, this is a card of a reunion in this particular spread. Right? This is what they want. They want to make things right. They want to bury the hatchet. They want to reunite with you. But, uh, like I said, your initial response is going to be, um, I don't know. The nine of ones right next to the deck. This is exactly what I just described. It's not a. It's not really a no. It's not a rejection. But this is you being kind of cautious about uh, letting this person back into your life. So I think they will have to work hard to um, get your trust back and uh, reunite with you. All right. Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.